Hi folks, HR Funk here with a brand new midweek update. And in this midweek update, I'm going to be talking to you about holster options for the IWI Masada. Now, if you've seen my recent review on the IWI Masada pistol, you already know that I recently acquired this Masada. And I'm also very favorably impressed with it. In fact, the more that I shoot it and the more that I use it, the more I like it. But there are not a lot of holster options out there right now for the Masada, which brings me to the topic of this midweek update. Recently, I got a hold of my friend Skip Boyer, who runs Always Faithful Holsters. And you can find Always Faithful Holsters if you do a search on Facebook. He'll come up. And I let Skip know that I needed a holster for my new Masada. And he crafted me one very quickly, I might add. And it's the one that I have on my belt here. I'm going to give you a close-up look at the holster. This is the holster that Skip put together for me. And I intentionally wanted it to be kind of subdued, as you can see, because I wanted to be able to use it for work if I wanted to. But the holster itself is finished in an imitation leather. This is Kydex. And I actually kind of thought this looked a little bit like shark skin when I saw the picture of it on the Facebook page. But in any regard, he put this together for me. It has the Molly style clips on the back that I like. Now Skip can put any kind of fastener that you want on your holster. I tend to like these because they allow me to use it with a wide variety of different belts that are different thicknesses. Or if I want to attach it to something else that's not necessarily a belt, it gives me that option as well. But he does put different attachment points on depending on what you like and he can custom build a holster for virtually any firearm you might have. And I'm going to show you a close-up of some of the more elaborate holsters that Skip has done for me in the past and also we'll come back to this one before we're all said and done and see how the Masada fits it. And here you can see some of those past holsters that I mentioned that Skip has put together for me each with the specific pistol that it was designed for and as you can see, Skip is capable of putting a wide variety of personalization into your specific holster. Obviously, several of mine have a Marine Corps theme, but also I've got one down here that he was able to put my badge on with my Hellcat. And he can do these for virtually any branch of the service or for police officers if you want to have them personalized with your unit number or your badge on or for firefighters or EMTs. And he also offers a discount to everyone that falls into those categories. Uh, current or former military, law enforcement officers, fire and EMT, he will give you a discount on your holster. But again, this just gives you an idea of some of the holsters that he can put together. And also there are many, many more pictured on his Facebook page. So if you go to Always Faithful Holsters on Facebook, you'll be able to see even more options that Skip can build just for you. And again, he can personalize them. Like for example, he put my Corporal Chevrons on this holster. So if you want rag insignias, or if you want your name or unit number or something like that, he can also add those touches just for you. And as far as the fit goes on the Masada, you can see that it fits very well, very tightly. It's not going to fall out of there. So again, Skip does a very good job making holsters for whatever firearm you might need. And if you happen to need a holster for a Masada, he can build you a good one. Now, when it comes to duty holsters, there are even fewer selections and fewer makers out there that can put a duty holster together for you. But I'll give you a look at my duty holster next in case you're considering one of these, like I am, for use at work. And as you can see, I've switched over to my duty rig and this is the Blackhawk Omnivore. I've showed this holster before, and there are things about this holster that I don't particularly care for, but one of the things I do like is the fact that it will work with just about any handgun that has an equipment rail, or a Picatinny rail rather, on the front of the frame. Reason being, it uses this plastic insert, which screws on to the equipment rail, to lock the pistol in the holster. And so long as you have the ability to attach that plastic insert, your pistol is going to work with the Blackhawk Omnivore. Now, as you can see, this particular version is not set up to work with a weapon-mounted light. 
There are a couple of versions of the Omnivore that work with very specific weapon mounted lights and if you want to learn more about those options go ahead and go to the Blackhawk website and take a look at them for yourself. Now the Omnivore is a security holster and once the pistol is locked in it is not coming out unless you activate the release mechanism and I intentionally don't demonstrate how to release the pistol from the holster for safety reasons but I did want to make it clear that it is a security holster that retains the pistol. And that's the midweek update for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, if you purchase anything from Optics Planet, be sure to use my discount code, which is... And if you use that discount code, it's good for 5% off anything you purchase from Optics Planet. See you next time, folks. And until then, good shooting. Bye-bye.